sexy. Two egg. Your mind, it is like a gun. And you want to load it up with little itty bitty bullets of knowledge. What's going on, family? It's your guy, Boro, the Lucky Libra. And thank you for tuning in to another episode. I right, y'all make sure to tap into my website to connect with the Lucky Libra. Make sure to tap into my Patreon where I'm getting into monthly classes, deeper breakdowns, and more. All right, so as you can see, we're picking up the debilitation to your zodiac sign series with the Capricorn archetype. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, you know, the purpose of this debilitation series is for us to, you know, just gain more clarity and understand our natural weakness, our natural uncomfortable energy that we deal with. You know, our energy we may develop insecurities around when it comes to our debilitation energy and our fall. So we have planets that rule, that are that that are our planetary ruler to a zodiac sign, all right? And then we have planets that are exalted in your zodiac sign. Now, when we get into the debilitation, that would be the ruler of the opposite zodiac sign. And we get to the fall, that would be the exaltation of the opposite uh, zodiac sign. So this is how you guys could just naturally, you know, put that together. But, you know, when we look at the Capricorn archetype, all right, when we look at the Capricorn archetype, Cardinal Earth, ruled by Saturn. So Cardinal energy start, initiate, create, lead aggressive pressure but is earth so earth is steady grounded practical deals with common sense organized structured practical don't know if i said practical twice but maybe i needed to say it twice because earth signs be some practical among others all right so when we look at cardinal earth you know capricorns is always trying to see the new way to start or build something they're always trying to see the new way to add their common sense to something to see if something work so you may give a business plan you may uh you know ask a capricorn about a plan you about to have and they're naturally going to see if your plan by default makes the most sense to them and if not nine out of ten times they're going to express what they think make more sense as a capricorn because it's their natural way of how to see when it comes to your son, is the natural way. Well, we're well, we really just talking about the archetype. So this will be your son in Capricorn. If your moon is in Capricorn, you're going to naturally feel this arc, this um, debilitation with how you may process things emotionally. So it just it just depends. But um, when we look at the Capricorn energy, you know, this is why Capricorns would express themselves in ways where they're always trying to enlighten others with a new way of seeing something practical because it's cardinal. Just like an Aries might enlighten you on a new way to see something based off how they feel. Just like a Cancer will enlighten you on a new perspective based off how they feel. Alright? Just like how a Libra will enlighten you on something new uh, based off their logic. Alright? It's something. There's always going to be a, a, a newness to what the Cardinal Energy wants to bring out. So, when we have Saturn ruled here. Saturn deals with restrictions boundaries rules time all right stability structure foundation okay we could correlate saturn to practicality business organizations okay but when we talk about boundaries and restrictions that's that's like that has to be emphasis emphasized with saturn that has to be emphasized with saturn sorry yeah my, my chest hurt i don't know what's going on i don't want to make it seem like rubbing on myself son. so <laughs> when we look at that saturn energy this is why Cap the capricorn energy naturally gonna put a restriction on something it's naturally not gonna do something because it doesn't see like uh that job opportunity that relationship that event doesn't make sense it may not correlate with their schedule it may not it may throw them off their schedule or their time or things they put in time into it may not it, they may not even be working on the thing they put in time into they just feel like it, it don't make sense for me to be putting time into that if I know I should be putting time into this other thing I'm working on. So they, they might not just go out, period, but might not end up working on what they're supposed to work on, period. So it's like that, but that's the mentality of a Capricorn, all right? But this is why they know how to naturally organize, structure things. 
This is why I didn't know how to jump into authority, manage management, boss, uh, 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 you know, being able to give other orders, being able to see how other people could structure their gifts and talents. So, you know, a, a Capricorn, uh, <laughs> not say Capricorns is not talented, creative, but uh, a Capricorn uh, see how somebody else could get, make some money, like, girl, you ain't know you could sing? You ain't know you could rap? You ain't know they paying for that? <laughs> like, you're bugging. You need a manager. Call me tomorrow at 7 a.m. All right? Real talk. Capricorn see how to organize structure something quick. So, you know, when we get into the, and then we got the exaltation of Mars. We got the exaltation of Mars. Let me not leave that out. So the exaltation of Mars, Mars deal with your passions, your goals, you know, your willpower, ambition, how you, how, how you go about taking your actions and setting intention and setting your goals. And, you know, when Mars don't get to meet these things, it turns into anger and frustration. So a lot of how you deal with anger and it may express that deals with your Mars placement or the area of life that you may get frustrated in a lot or have to feel like you're fighting for things is the house Mars is going to be in. So that's exalted in Capricorn. So this is why Capricorns be so goddamn passionate about their legacy, what they trying to build and structure in this lifetime, about their reputation and social status. They be passionate as hell about that, about what, what position they in in career, have real, uh, you know, trying to climb corporate America and whatnot, trying to, you know, uh, uh, set milestones for business and, and uh, you know, evolution in their family and whatnot. Like, yeah, that's the Capricorn. They'll be passionate about them things. Other people may want to, you know, seek to do them things. Capricorn do that shit with some, with some ambition. All right. But this is why they can uh, naturally exhaust themselves when it comes to career and working on things. So that's why, you know, you got to be careful of that. Caps. Got to make sure you're taking care of yourself, Caps. You know. And when we get into the debilitation, we have, we have the moon. What's on the opposite axis of Capricorn? Cancer. Okay? And Cancer is ruled by the moon. We know the moon deals with reacting, responding, emotion, affection, nurture, understanding, compassion. So, connection. <laughs> so, when we put this debilitated here in Capricorn, you have some Capricorns cold-hearted. Cap, some Capricorns is pretty dry with you. Don't react to respond. You said something. You said something with some emotion. Something thought out. Their response is not matching that energy. Their response is that they ain't gonna give you emotional weight back. It's, it may it may block a lot of a, a good percentage of what you only if it responds only only responds to two thirds, one third of what you just said. It's like okay, I just it's. When it gets, starts dealing with emotion, this is when we start getting vulnerable here, Capricorn energy. So when it starts getting vulnerable for a Capricorn at times, overall. But you'll get that, you nine out of ten times, you, you'll pick up on that lack of response energy from a Capricorn. So, <laughs> our debilitations can work out for us. This is why we tell you, y'all family, there's a negative and positive everything. Just like how we talk about... Just how we, t <laughs> just like how we talk about uh, signs that have their negative stereotypes, whether it's a Leo getting too much intention, uh, Libras fl being flirty and toxic, Scorpios being toxic, uh, uh, you know, whether it's, you know, whatever it is, you know, Pisces being dreamy, we really picking on. Either debilitation or the negative side of our ruler. So, just like how we have a negative side, we could jump into negative sides of the planet that rules us, even though that's our natural energy. When it comes to debilitation, sometimes your debilitation work out as a positive because Capricorns, with they lack of response, sometimes helps them to prevent a situation or to you know, create space from a situation to let things play out. 
but it's gonna play out as a detriment a lot of the times. So let me just let me not just maybe I was just a little biased. I'm a Capricorn Moon, Capricorn Rise. Maybe I was just a little biased even saying that. So, <laughs> but uh, so let me revert back to saying y'all gotta learn to respond more. Y'all gotta learn to deal with more emotion. Y'all gotta learn to feel. Y'all have to learn to not bury the emotion, okay? And it's so sub it's so easy. It's so subconscious how you do it. To the point you think is a lot of Capricorns could think it's 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 a very healthy, positive thing that they know how to not feel. Cause they think it's a defense mechanism. They think it helps them to not have emotion uh cloud reality for them. Because of reality's high priority for a Capricorn. So the way you guys will give a lack of emotion to people that deserve your concern. It's hard and uncomfortable to open up at time for a lot of Capricorn, but when you do establish that connection and you know there's been an exchange of energy in some type of shape or form, you know you develop an, an emotional rapport with somebody, Capricorn. You got to be able to give, you know, give that understanding to others that some people just want to at least sometimes hear how you truly feel about something. And it's real natural for you guys to feel like you got to organize and structure the emotions or structure super, super organized what you're about to express and relate. So it, it keeps you protected, emotionally protect, protected. But this is when signs that got debilitations of planets that deal with the feelings like the moon, like uh, Venus. This is when, you know, situations with feelings become vulnerability, a vulner, uh, become a real vulnerable uh, experience. This is when situations of dealing with connecting with others become vulnerable at times. So it's not like something you're not going to experience, okay? And you may have other alignments that help you deal with it, but having the moon being debilitated, the moon governs how we react and respond. So even when it comes to the things you guys know that you want to do, you know, you guys could be super goal-oriented, goal super passionate, have a whole bunch of goals. You ask a Capricorn, uh, how much goals they have or what their goals are. They're going to have a list for you. They're going to have a list of dreams and passions. But ask them how much work they've put in. This is where you get to see what what spectrum you've fallen on, Capricorn. Have you been reacting and responding to your aspirations, your passions, your goals that you've logically developed, that you've naturally been influenced by just being a Capricorn energy? So that moon needs to learn to align emotional well-being and emotional intent and what you're working on. You have to always be able to remember, reflect, the moon deals with the past, always be able to remember, reflect on why you working on what you're working on, why you going about structuring and building things the way you are, why you're putting restriction on, why are you putting restrictions on people, places, and things. Is it to super guard the emotions? Is it to guard you? Is it to be a defense mechanism from opening up and running from certain situations dealing with the emotions? So these are like questions to ask to help you understand to how to deal with that energy at times. Um, learning to deal with more compassion. Okay. That's something both you and Aquarius just have to learn how to deal with. Uh, so, you know, Aquarius, uh, there is another, it's, it's, it's different, it's different. And it's not to say Capricorns and Aquarius can't be co compassionate, but there's going to be a lot of situations that you can't come off really cutthroat, real, uh, you know, non-reflective of the emotions. And it could actually be a real detriment because it could be somebody that probably don't deserve that. Somebody that, you know, like I said, deserves to at least uh, get, uh, get an understanding of your concern in some type of shape or form. Just something to keep in mind, all right? So, uh... But that's something I want you Capricorns to understand, especially Capricorn moons. Especially Capricorn moons. You got to learn to feel your emotions. All right. And when I say feel your emotions, when things either trigger emotion, you got to try to understand what that is. Because you rather try to see how to box it up, use it, stabilize it, direct it towards a passion or whatever. And that's a positive way of cultivating deep emotion. But the understanding, see, cancer deal with understanding of the emotion. A cancer will be compassionate, understanding with you. A cancer, cancer will be some of the most understanding people in the world with others. You know, and that's, and that could be to their detriment. So you guys have to, you know, just be open to them experiences. Um, you know, and when I say you want to apply more emotional. You want to worry about your, you want to make sure you're concerned about your emotional well-being because 
you can neglect the things that you truly care about because you, you care a lot about you know career stability you know your foundation in life but uh you know at times it could just be a natural debilitation for cancers to, 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 to excuse me to drive themselves away from the home environment from others that they care about and connected to based off a of certain i uh uh, potential responsibilities a Capricorn may have created for themselves so your emotional well-being through them ups and downs between career and your home environment like you want to make sure that you're able to find a balance or that's something that is actually on your mind and you're acknowledging okay now when we have the debilitation of the fall excuse me when we have the fall of um Mars no so I keep saying Mars Jupiter Jupiter so we know Jupiter deals with knowledge and wisdom looking at things from a philosophical point of view spirituality okay we could say Jupiter deal with compassion Jupiter do understanding because it's, it's teaching so to learn you have to understand overstand reflect all right so when it comes to Capricorn this is Jupiter's in its false state the, the false states when we have a planet in its false state it's playing out more of subconscious energies all right so at times it could play out extremes it may not feel like it's capable Okay, to feel non-existent with this sign at times. So when it comes with Jupiter, Capricorns, things could be so linear, so practical that you guys have to learn through your journey of what you're working on to reflect on what you what you gain experience on to see how to apply it instead of staying in such a practical point of view at times. You, you got to have more belief in the things. Once again, Jupiter going to have like that faith factor to it. So you got to have like more faith in the things you're working on because at times Capricorns, you guys could be, y'all could get, be heavy on y'all, on your own self because either you mentally created responsibilities for yourself, a lot of things you want to work on, structure or, you know, things you feel like you need that need structure and need to be stabilized in your life and you could overwhelm yourself mentally and seeing how you have to uh, put in work time organize do construction work to build that form of stability and uh jupiter has to kick in with you guys seeing the more optimistic side of things in these moments jupiter has to kick in with you understanding things are experiences and you're on a journey and you can't get into video game pattern mode and everything be the perfect practical step to career what you're trying to build in life or how you connect to others and you got to allow yourself to experience whenever jupiter's debilitated or in his false state here it's gonna this, these energies got to learn to be more open to experiencing and learning certain things capricorn at time uh you know you need to seek education for some of the things that you're trying to build in structure because because mars is exalted here so when you got a plan you just go you just go you know straight directing it and when you got mars in the exaltation you know mars is already a direct energy real passionate energy so you guys could be so locked in focused and dialed into your ways of feeling like how you're working on things okay that uh at times it's hard for you to expand or gain more knowledge or learn from others about what you're working on so you guys are the blueprint you are the creator of the plan when it comes to the earth signs you are the you are you are the blueprint of the structured building when we talk about earth but always being open to learning always being open to applying from your mistakes you know applying the wisdom from your mistakes and definitely, you know, adding that optimism into what you're working on. Trying to understand what's the mean. This is another important thing. Capricorns, you guys have to try to understand what's the meaning and reasoning of what you're working on, what you're doing, what you're doing. Because you're naturally going to have the type of energy that feel like you got to build. Feel like you got to have legacy. Feel like you got to be uh, presented in the world a certain way. But 
we all have to evolve with our energies in some type of shape or form. And with Capricorns, it's going to have to be you guys understanding to apply the spiritual concept to why you work in instruction. What, what's the purpose of what you're building? How you're going to evolve once you build what you what you uh, influenced and inspired to build in this lifetime? What ways you want to broadcast and present yourself to the world? You gotta have more deeper thoughts about these things. Start developing some perspectives about things. Start seeing what life is teaching you about why you have to understand dealing with organization and authority. So yeah, it's cardinal earth ruled by Saturn dealing with reality, organization, business, social status, all right? Presentation, organization, networking. But when we get into Jupiter being in its fall state, you always have to be able to go to bed at night under, and understand what you're doing this for, understanding what what ways you want to evolve because Jupiter expands. So what ways you want to evolve with career, never staying stagnant, but definitely having a meaning and a reasoning, understanding your why, you know, understanding your why. So that's what I want y'all caps to know and that's the debilitation of the Capricorn archetype so y'all already know what it is family I make sure to tap into my website to connect with the lucky Libra tap into my patreon all right where I'm getting into you know deeper analysis monthly classes and more and until next time your boy out of here peace